Put your beat in, come at me, put your beat in, come at me, put your beat in, come at me, put your beat in, come at the hammer dash me, come at me, hammer dash me, come at me, hammer dash me, come at me. How am I gonna get this in here? You're not gonna get it in here, that's the problem. We don't want your junk mail here. Yeah, give me your glove, give me your glove. Give me my gloves. You don't deserve to wear your gloves to deliver mail because you the devil. The junk mail is the devil. You don't get that out of here. Get that out of here. There. We don't want it the hell in here. We don't want it the hell in here. Give me, give me, give me the junk mail. Give me the junk mail. Yeah, let me get that. I'm peeing on it right now. I'm peeing on it as we speak. Give me the letter. Give me the letter. Give me the letter. That's real mail. That's real mail. Give me the letter. Take the letter with you. Junk mail is the devil, and the devil is not welcome here. Get your hand out of here. I hate you. Come on, man. That's a, that's a, that's a boy. That's a boy double in that pizza, man. All oh, oh, that, oh, it tastes like thumb. That was, that was thumb. That was thumb. Yeah, it's fine, girl. That's your boy dabble in that pizza. Don't close the box on your boy. Come on, come on, man. Let me dabble in that. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not falling for it. I'm over here, man. Let me get in on She's that. She's not pizza, gonna man. let you dabble, man. You know. You know that way. I can't get to the piece of the, that slug, this little dabble hole you got here. Let me, let me get a taste of that real pizza, man. Hey, Stanley, be careful in there, man. You Bands better be tricky, man. Oh, 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 he got you. He got you. Oh, 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 with the he flip. Threw me. Oh, he threw me. Oh, he is oh, dying. Oh, he is dying. Damn, no. Stanley, you getting oh. worked. Hey, what's up, good people, man? This is Clyde. And Stevie. <laughs> we are Stanley's best friends. And let me tell you something. Stanley is always stirring the pot, man. That's an understatement, man. Stanley is always messing with Winnie Jr., man. We told him, we told him, like, one day, Winnie Jr. is going to haul off and give you that grizzly slap. You feel me? <laughs> we sure did, man. And sure enough, he gave him the slam of his life, man. He gave him the grand slam at Denny's for $5.99. That's what he did. Oh, he gave him the slam magazine, the straight slam poetry. You feel me? <laughs> we clowned Stanley for five hours straight after this bad game. Gave him that honey roasted ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley, if you could get off me, that'd be great, man. But I'm sitting on the front of the game, Stanley. You won't be support me, man. Thinking you're tougher than me, man, because I'm winning the pool, Junior. You think I'm soft out here, man. You ain't gonna take me for some joke out here, man. It's more than just honey, man. I want my respect, Stanley. I'm sick of your funny games. Hey, good people, this is Winnie the Pooh Jr. As we look at the tape, first and foremost, I want to apologize for my behavior. I just reached my breaking point with Stanley, man. Stanley's always hounded me, no pun intended, because he's a dog. But he's always hounded me, man. I've had it, man. It's tough being Winnie the Pooh Jr., man. When your father is a children's book legend and cartoon and Disney, everybody plays me for soft, you know what I'm saying? It's soft, man. Don't, don't forget, at the end of the day, we are bears, okay? You know? Winnie the Pooh, he's an actor. That's a character, man. Don't sleep on bears. We got hands, teeth, strength. We can stand up. We are formidable opponents. I didn't want to have to do this to Stanley, but I had reached my breaking point. I apologize to you all. And he said your mother drinks cat litter water. You're going to... Oh, okay. I'll tell him what you said. Okay, midnight. Sunrise just said... Oh, okay, all right. Sunrise just said that even though you're a black cat, you're so soft that when you cross people's paths, you actually give them good luck. That's how soft you are. Are you going to take that? Oh, okay, okay. Are you going to take that, Midnight? Are you going to take that? All right. I thought you were a warrior. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The fight of the century. The claws are out and the catnip is put away. It's savagery going on here, people. Oh, my God. Oh, they fell off the roof, guys. They fell off the roof, but the fight continues on. Oh my god, this is tremendous. In all my years of birddom, I have never seen this much ferocity out here. This is crazy. This is biblical. These cats, are, oh my god, they fell again, people. They fell again. Okay, okay, that first round was tremendous. The falling off the roof and falling down the steps was a was astounding. But now it's time for the second round. Sunrise. Midnight said your mother only has two nipples. Are you going to take that? How are you going to take? Let's get it on. Oh, man, this is incredible. The second round is just like the first. The
intensity. You can taste the intensity. You are right about that, Perry. You are right about that. And thanks for bringing me in for this second round. And, man, I've had a bird's eye view of many a cat fight. But this right here is one for the ages, man. The, the hatred these two must have for one another is just... Wait, hold on. Let's get them started again. All right, don't be no bitch, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All right, the hatred these two must have for one another must date back years. Oh, I've never seen such just ferociousness of these two cats man and this this is personal this is a vendetta for the ages kenny kenny man you're going to wake it on up man you over there sounding like a trumpet man kenny kenny wake up man you're killing my cat nap kenny stop singing that song all the time